All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson 14. And in this lesson, students are gonna be connecting measurement with a physical unit that they're gonna just take and they're gonna iterate. They're just gonna put side by side by side by side. And in this case, they're gonna be using the square inch. So we're not going to be using a ruler to measure something quite yet. Instead, we're gonna make it a little bit more physical. So, um, I, the idea is more meaningful, right? Um, we're gonna use an, a, square, a square inch and we're gonna use that square inch to iterate it, go inch by inch by inch by inch, and then that's how we're gonna be measuring things. So let's get started. So here we are supposed to just go around the house, you know, for the homework, parents and teachers. This really is where the idea of homework is we have to be careful about the equity thing because we want to make sure our students have all of our students have access to these things, particularly they have a parent who's able to supervise this sort of stuff. Particularly, like, do we want second graders to just arbitrarily be going through the cupboard and measuring the height of juice glasses and stuff, you know? Some families may be opposed to that, right, without a parent directly supervising. So parents and teachers be aware of equity issues in, in this lesson. And so the idea is we are going to, in this case, let's measure the length of a kitchen fork. So here is our kitchen fork. Uh, but we're not going to use a ruler. Instead, we are going to use this square inch, and we're going to iterate it until we've measured the uh, a nice approximation for the length of the um, fork. So I'm gonna just go and mark, and then I'm gonna mark, and I'm gonna iterate it, and so I'm gonna slide it and mark, and then I'm gonna slide it and mark, and I have to kind of be a little careful in terms of the technology um, but there we go. I'm going to just keep sliding and marking. And then the idea is, uh-oh, the next iteration would go right there. Um, let's get that out of the way. It would go right there. So the idea is, what do we do with that? It doesn't land perfectly at the end of the fork. So we see that we have one inch, another inch. So that's two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches. And it's almost six inches so we can we can say it's about six inches and that's good enough to say that about six inches now here this is a classic description of what second graders actually do it says norberto begins measuring his pen with his inch tile so he's got his little inch tile and he's measuring his pen one two but then after a couple of times, that's this second time right here, he decides this process is taking too long and he starts to guess where the tile would end. So the idea is what's going to happen to his measurement. And so we can look and we can see, well, that's perfect and that's perfect. So when he was actually measuring with the inch tile, he was perfect. But then when he started guessing, uh-oh, look what happens. He's, he's off by a little bit, isn't he? And then uh, if we go in another, slide it, uh-oh, yeah, he's really off. And if we slide it again, boy, he's just really, really not even accurate, is he? So the idea is, why would his answer not be correct? Well, his answer is probably not going to be correct because he's probably not going to guess perfectly. Yes, it's possible he could guess, but he's probably not going to guess exactly perfectly the way he um, measured perfectly with the tile at the beginning. So his guesses are not going to be as perfect as his actual measurements, and that's why his answer will not be quite correct. So parents and teachers, what does all this mean? Uh, give your students plenty of opportunities to use a square inch to measure a ton of stuff in, in an iterative fashion. Uh, go on a measuring hunt. Put out markers, chairs, uh, strips of tape, 
posters that you might have on the wall or on, you know, you could put lay down on desks. Let your students go on a measuring hunt. It's like a measuring scavenger hunt. And um, just let them play with measurement. Maybe not even uh, assign the homework because the students are having so much fun instead just measuring stuff in an authentic way. Why, why make them do homework if they can do the same kind of work in a more authentic, fun way? And that wraps up second grade, module seven, lesson 14. We are measuring, but at this point we are using a physical thing, a square inch, and we are using it in an iterative fashion rather than actually using a ruler.